Good day and welcome everyone, Stuart here from Northern Bolt and Tool and today is another exciting day. We've got a brand new product from Inco. Not a facelift, not an update, but a brand new product. This is in fact their battery backpack. It is rated at 60 amp hours, so big, big capacity. We're going to unbox it here. There are a few things that you need to know about using this particular unit that we didn't really know about when we first opened it up. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that we've learned about this particular unit, how to use it, what you can and can't do with it, some of the limitations, some of the advantages, and just talk generally about this particular unit. So with that, let's jump into the unboxing and I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So guys, this is the tool. This is the box with a few accessories and a few very important pieces. So let's take a closer look. So let's have a look quickly at the backpack itself. So there's a clip at the front here. And if you press the little clip over here, the battery separates from the backpack. Now you can't actually get into this pack itself. It is a solid piece like this and there's no way of opening it up and getting into it. Over here, you've got your lead. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. So on the side here, you can see you've got an on-off switch. You do need to actually turn this on to use it. And then you press and hold it down to turn it off. And now it's off. So it does have that feature. So don't think it's like the other batteries where you just clip it into the tool and it's good to go. You do have to turn this on and off. So if you purchase one, don't think it's not working. Press the switch before you try anything else. Make sure that it's working properly. This is the little backpack piece that clips into. You can see very nicely made hard plastic over here with great clips. On the front side, you've got nice padding on all the straps for added comfort. It is quite a heavy unit, so having comfortable straps is vital. So very sturdy backpack little piece over here to carry around your battery. Now, moving on to this box over here. Inside here, I'll just unbox it quickly for you. We didn't do a complete unboxing with the tool itself because there's this little piece left over. But in here, you've got some of these leads, like so. And you've got this little stand and a little bag. So this little stand over here clips onto this battery pack so that if you want to stand the battery pack up on its own, you are able to do so and it won't fall over and it's held securely with that. These leads here, you'll see we've got one with one, I'm gonna call it a battery on it, but it's not actually a battery, it's just a hollow adapter. You've got one with one and a lead with two. So this battery is capable of powering both a 20 volt and 40 volt machines. With the 40 volt machines, you need to use this lead obviously because you've got two battery ports over there. And with the 20 volt machines, you can use this guy over here. So with the 20 volt machines, with this particular unit, you get 60 amp hours of capacity. And with the 40 volt machines, you get 30 amp hours of capacity from this particular unit. One of the questions we had was, could you power two 20 volt machines off of this lead? We're going to check that out for you guys and show you guys what happens when you put two machines onto these ports. So that guys, let's put everything together and I'll show you how this machine works and some of the little features and quirks that we picked up on it. So this is how the unit looks fully installed with the stand. Now I mentioned before that the stand fits to the battery. It doesn't, it actually fits onto the backpack portion of this unit. So I'm just going to unclip the battery here and show you guys a little bit more about this backpack. It has some interesting features that I think are quite cool and would make this quite a nice unit. So first of all, the stand, it connects to the back over there. The hardware is supplied with the kit, so you don't have to worry about that. Some screws and some little brackets over there fasten the stand to this backpack portion. Now your battery obviously clips in here and there's a clip up top here that clips in here. Now there are more clips at the back here you unclip those and now you can adjust the height of or length I should rather say of the backpack portion so that you can really dial it in to ensure the most comfortable fit for this particular unit. Moving around to the back here on the straps you get two shoulder straps they are nicely cushioned for additional comfort. You've got this little clip over here that holds them together and you've got your waist belt that goes obviously around your waist and helps you carry and support some of the weight of the units on your hips. Now it is important to dial in this unit to your size because it is a heavy unit and if you use it for prolonged periods of time and you haven't dialed it in and got it fitting properly, it may cause some back ache, etc. 
using it long term. So dial in, get it comfortable before you use it, especially if you're gonna be using it for long periods of time. So to connect up this whole contraption, you need to connect these pleats. So you can see there's a pattern on each side and you simply push it together. You can see there's a little indentation over there where this little piece here locks in. So you can press it together, make sure it's lined up and now you're good to go. So if you turn that on now, you'll be able to put a machine on here and you'll be able to power it. To undo it, you turn it in this direction. You can see the little diagram over there. You just turn it like that and then it comes apart nice and easily. Both the 20 volts and the 40 volt lead both work the same. Now, one of the questions we had was around, can you run two 20 volt machines off of the 40 volt lead and charging? Could you put this on a dual charger with these two batteries or do you have to use the single one? How does this thing all work? So I think it's best if I get an extension cord here quickly with some chargers as well as some tools and show you guys what happens and how the machine works when you use it or try and use it in these ways. All right, so I've rigged up the single port little power adapter over here. And I just wanna show you guys that the tools that we've got here do work. I've got a selection of drills. So this is the 96. I've got the 66. You can see they're working very nicely. And I've also got a grinder. So all in perfect working order. Now the question we had was, would you be able to power two of these tools off of the two ports adapter? So let's just hook that up quickly and let's have a look and see what happens when we put two tools on the single 40 volt adapter. So we're in, let's put the two drills on first. Three, two, one. As you can see, you can power both of them at exactly the same time. However, if I were to power one of these, it will trip the machine and it will turn off. So I'll show you that now. So if you're gonna be using it like this, you have to make sure that you're using both of the tools at identical times. It's not really recommended. I don't think it's the most practical thing, but I'll show you, you can achieve this with the grinder as well. Three, two, one. But if we were to turn on just the grinder, turns off, the lights flash on the machine to say that something is wrong, so it automatically turns off. So the machine does have a safety feature in there, built in as well, and it does monitor what's going on with the tools, which is good to know. The communication is working very, very well. With that said, we also have got a 40 volt chainsaw. We haven't installed the bar on it, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks when you're running a 40 volt machine. So this is the proper intended use for the dual lead. So this is a 40 volt chainsaw. So just turn it on again, and now you'll see the machine will work perfectly. Very powerful machine. If you guys would like us to test it and cut some wood with it, let us know in the comments down below. It's something that we have not featured yet on our channel. So, if you are able to power both machines at the same time, I wonder if you could charge this with this dual battery setup here. There's an eight amp charger, that's a twin port charger from Inco. If you can't and you have to use the single charger, the fastest one is a four amp charger, which means if you do some quick maths, four into 60 amp hours, that's gonna take about 15 hours to charge this from flat. So let's get some chargers together and let's see if we're able to charge it with the dual port charger. Okay, so you can see here, we've got two chargers set up. This is Inco's four amp single port charger and this is the eight amp dual port charger. So first up, this guy, I'll show you guys now how to use it, how to charge it. I know it sounds weird, but there's a little bit of a procedure. So first you slide that in and then you simply press that button and now it's charging. It does not charge automatically. So you do need to just press this button lightly to get it to charge. So that's a single port charger. Let me get the double lead on and see if it is able to charge the battery pack. First, let's have a look and see if we can charge the battery backpack with just one of these on the single port. So let's plug it in. Nothing. Okay, so that doesn't work at all. 
Let me just put that aside. Now let's try the dual charger. So I'm going to plug it in. So there it's in. And nothing. So unfortunately with the dual lead you aren't able to charge this battery backpack. You can only do it with the single battery charger. I charge that point and it means that they'll charge this thing from flat in 15 hours. So that is quite a long charge time and I think it would be quite nice to see a stronger charger from Inco specifically for this unit. Before we pack up here, I'm going to put the single lead back onto the machine and I'm going to see if we can use this dual port charger to charge the battery with the single lead. I don't see why it should be a problem. It should work, but you'd never know until you test it and try it. So let's just try that quickly and see if that works. I'm plugging it in. And there it's charging. So you are able to charge two battery packs off a dual charger like this, all with the single lead. So interesting way of doing it. It would be nice if you could charge with from both of the ports simultaneously, but unfortunately we do not have that luxury just yet. All right guys, so this is the machine, pretty much how it works and what it is in a nutshell. There are a few things that I haven't mentioned. For instance, you do get this pouch that comes with the machine. I can only imagine it is to store your batteries or your adapters like so. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but they fit. So I think that's what it's for. Tell me in the comments down below if you think it could be used for something else or what you would use it for. So that's that over there. In terms of the cord length, you're looking at approximately two meters. So pretty good amount of cord length there, much longer than your arm. So I don't think you'll have too many issues there with the length of the cord itself. Now, this machine is hindered a bit by its weight and it is quite a bulky machine, quite cumbersome. I think it would only be suitable for very specific and niche applications. This isn't going to be for everyone. In fact, I don't think it's going to be for 90% of people, maybe even 95% of people. Very, very specific where you're out for long periods of time with tools that are high energy consumption tools and you don't have any access to power and you need to have reliable power for long periods of time this would possibly be a nice solution for you. However, it does come in at 8,000 Rand, which is a lot of money, but you could buy a generator, but then you have to go and buy fuel, you have to service it all the time. And of course, there's issues like the engine not running properly. So I do think this is a lot more reliable solution compared to a generator. But like I said, very, very niche and very specific target market for this particular unit. With that said, we have had a lot of inquiries from people asking if Inco are going to come out with a cordless welding machine. And I've heard nothing yet. I don't know if they are, but if they were, I think this would be a nice option to power that particular unit. I think this battery pack could power a cordless welder for short periods of time. Of course, that's to be seen. I don't know if it's going to happen, but it is an interesting thought that might come into fruition in the future. The other drawback with this particular unit is the charging situation. I would like Inco to come out with a stronger charger so that you can charge this particular unit up a little bit faster than 15 hours. I think if you could charge it up in five hours, that would be really, really ideal, which means that you're looking at a 12 amp charger. I don't think that's out of the question. I do think it is possible for them to come out with something like that. So that might be something to look out for in the future if this is something that you are looking for. So guys, this is part one of our battery backpack video. Stay tuned for part two where we're going to go and look at runtime. We're going to do some performance testing and see how this battery backpack compares to an 8 amp hour battery as well as a 4 amp hour battery. Another thing quickly to note that I've forgotten to mention is the cells that are used in this unit. They are 21700 cells, the same as in the 8 amp hour battery. So that those are the cells that Inco have gone with in here. So stay tuned for that part two where we look at the performance and runtime of this particular unit. So there you go guys, that's this machine in a nutshell. If you've liked the video and enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not done so already. And I'll catch you again next week for part two of this battery backpack.